So now in this video, we'll talk about collections class. So the reason why we are doing that is if it if we talk about this values, we have four, six, and nine and two. And if you run this code, the output we are getting is four, six, nine, and two, right? The sequence which we have entered. But the output I'm expecting is in the ascending order. So the two should get printed first, and then four, six, and nine. Just to make it more efficient, let me just interchange the value here. Let's say this is 4, 9, 6, and 2, so that when I sort the elements, it should be 2, 4, 6, and 9. So if I run this code, we are getting the output as the values which we have entered. To sort these values, what we can do is we can, up, we can apply bubble sort. In fact, we have, uh, we have done that, right? We can use bubble sort. We can, we can implement quick sort. So if you are coming from uh, data structure background, you, you know what I'm talking about. So you can sort these elements by yourself. But collection is an API, right? It has some internal classes which we can use. So there's a, there's a class called as collections. And in this collection class, we have a method called a sort. So collections is a, is a class and sort is a static method which we can call with the help of class name. And in here, we can pass the values. So if you pass the collection, if you pass the object of list here, it will sort all your elements. And then when you print the elements, it will be in ascending order. If you run this code, this is the output you are getting here. We got two, four, six, and nine. Quite simple, right? In fact, uh, let's say I want to print this in descending order. What we can do is once we have sorted the elements, we got the output as two, four, six, and nine. We can do the reverse of it. So we can say collections dot reverse. Now what it will do is it will reverse all the elements. So once we sort it, it will simply reverse it. If you run this code, we can see we got nine, six, four, and two. So you can see it is actually changing the value of list itself. So the original values are getting changed with the new values. That means we are achieving, we are changing the value of list which is called as mutation. So list is by default mutable. Why we should know about this is because in, in the future, future videos, we'll be talking about uh, stream API, which is Java 8 concepts and stream API provides you immutability. So Again, to understand that, you have to understand that list is mutable because we can change the values of list. Now, yeah, so when you run this code, we get the output as 9, 6, 4, and 2. So these are, these are two methods. Any other methods we have, we have collections dot, uh, what else we can use? I mean, this is the, this, these are the famous. We can also use uh, copy. We can copy the elements from one list to other list. Yeah, we can get the maximum, maximum of the collection. We can get the minimum of the collection and we can say we can reverse we have done that we can shuffle oh, let's try that let's shuffle the elements and if you shuffle the values what it will do is let's check that i guess it will yeah so it is printing everything in a random random format we got six two nine and four so you can play some you can build some games using this method so yeah that's that so these are the methods available in collection i would recommend you to explore more in the collections class so that's how you can use collections class, right? But my concern here is, let's say I have this value which is 404, let's say 908, let's say 6334, and then we have 2565. Well, let me change this value to 9. Now what I want is, I want to sort these elements, but not based on their, the, their numbers. The, I want to sort this element based on their last numbers. Example, I want to sort this values based on the last number so 4 8 9 and 5 should be considered so the output i'm expecting is this is the first output then i should get this output then i should get this output and then i should get this output because it is 4 5 8 and 9 how can you sort the elements i don't want to reverse and shuffle i, I just i just want to sort the elements but based on my own logic how to achieve that that we'll see in the next video